Well, good afternoon. <clears throat> it's a Thursday afternoon, and per my last video, not much has happened for the last two weeks, three weeks, I guess. But what has happened is the tornado room, or the safe room, or whatever you'd like to call it. Just, I've just completed putting the lid on it, pouring the wet concrete on top of the, the structure, and the forms are going to be up for two weeks, but they just, just finished pouring it. So the rest of the video is just showing how that happened. And anyway, have a great day. So they're building the tornado room. Since it didn't cost me a whole lot of money extra, as I had the dimensions changed from 10 foot by 12 foot to 12 foot by 12 foot, so it's a square. And this morning they drilled and epoxied in the rebar that holds the bricks to the floor. And now they're trying to put it in the base, base, making sure it fits along the line that was drawn and is level of course. Well after the first day they've actually got three rows put up. They worked late. Almost three rows. There's a couple of bricks missing back there. <coughs> they wanted to get three rows done today and get it drying. So it's looking good. This is day three, and they're uh, getting it up to the eight foot level, which would be the top, and then they'll bend steel to uh, pour the concrete top. So. This is where we're at so, uh, today. So they've just left for lunch and they've got it round and put the Steve the steel lentil, which is the top of the door, so now the some blocks can cross over and then that way we'll have the right door opening for me it's 80 and a quarter high and 42 and a quarter wide so we're getting there and that's the last row of bricks for the height and then like I say they'll start bending rebar to put the roof on well I came in this morning and the block work was done up to the 8 foot level and it looks pretty good And so it's ready, or they thought it was ready, to pour the concrete into the walls and prep it for the ceiling. However, however, I got my tape measure out and the distance from the side to side for the rough, rough opening is supposed to be 42 and a quarter inches. Sure enough, it was. And the rough opening from top to bottom is supposed to be 80 and one quarter inch. Good enough. So I get my tape measure out and I measure that distance and it's only 80 inches. Exactly 80 inches. So I called the concrete guy over and I said, hey, this is only 80 inches versus 80 and a quarter. And he says, no, it's 80 and a quarter. I measured it before we left. And then he measured it. It's only 80 inches as well. And he says, oh man, he told the guy to let that steel plate in there dry before stacking the last two rows, those two, four, six, eight, ten blocks on there. But probably, so he's trying to get done by the end of the day, he stuck it on there while that concrete was wet, and it pushed down that steel plate by a quarter of an inch, and so I lost my headroom. So uh, they're going to have to pull those ten blocks out 
and then raise that piece of steel up by a quarter of an inch and then re get that done because today is Monday and he needs to get that done today or tomorrow morning because he needs to let it dry so he can put in the concrete into the wall to get it stabilized before putting the top on. So that's where we're at on this so far. Okay, so they're in here on a Sunday fixing the correction. So they've uh, pulled those 10 blocks out and they've actually put a frame to hold the door height correctly. So looks like we're getting there. And they plan on uh, filling the concrete the remainder two rows today and then uh, hopefully get the top rebar set in sometime next week. They are now setting the rebar so they can pour the top in the next couple of days. So the top will be five and a half inches thick and will weigh about 12,000 pounds of concrete when they pour it. And so I'll show you the uh, all the wood inside holding the roof up. Because they're lifting it up and it's inside, they're using a skid steer to put the concrete up on the roof.